How are y'all folks doing this fine day? This Gator here at the cable company, and uh, I got in a couple of packages, as you can see. The um, uh, from, this is from there. Uh, St. Young. Uh, you guys ain't. Uh, we got this property here. It's um, it's sold. Let's see. Uh, bet these are um. These are investment, investment, yeah, there's your sign, sign right here. I like to, um, I like for you to sign the, this is grandbaby law into law. That's what we need to do. And, uh, but anyway, I'm just going to sign this right here real quick. And, uh, this is, uh, um, a receipt for notice of hearing. Uh, 87118 Hell of the Yellow Street, B305. Hearing date is set for September 5th, 2019 at 9 o'clock. The Honorable R. Mark Browning uh, in the Circuit Court of the First Circuit State of Hawaii. I don't know what the day is. Is it uh, 24th? I think it is. Uh, 24th, 2019. And uh, let me just sign this real quick and get this done. And there you go. Show you how. Show you how it is. Get, give you, give you your uh, family's uh, life savings. This is their. This is my family. My family's business. And I'm taking it. And court hearing has been. Uh, Close petition. Okay, except for September the fifth. Okay, this is um administrative services down uh, um administrative services. Uh, say intern person represents state files here in on January twenty third, twenty eighteen. On January twenty third, letters of administration were issued to petitioner intern personal representative. Uh, this is uh, court maintains jurisdiction. Uh, contested matter involving the validity of the world, and my aunt and my cousin as heirs of the descendant, by and through the grandfather, Max Ben, and <coughs> paternal grandmother, Payne Finn, filed a petition for just intensity in form of personal representative termination of the form of Teresa M. O'Reilly as special administrator. Uh, Jessica Lynn Harris, Ms. Harris filed a petition of the probate of the will, appointment of personal representative. Ms. Harris sought the mission to probate of an instrument titled last will and testament of Philip Leo Finn dated November 22, 2014, the will. Uh, the termination of the validity of the will, the Kness Matt was signed to the civil trials calendar, pursuant to the order granting Sherry H. Sukul and Lori F. Sukul, petition for reconsideration of the order, 9, petition 1, petition... Teresa M. O'Reilly petition to investigation of intensity and appointment of personal representative following January 26, 2017. Denying petition number two, unconstitutional, uh, I might add. Uh, petition to investigate intensity of appointment of personal representative termination of Teresa M. O'Reilly and special administrator following 20. That's my, my aunt who did that. She died, but she had every legal right to, uh, to get that estate. Uh, handed to her, and they gave it to uh, non-blood. Granting petition number three, petitioner Jessica Lynn Harris, which has the same last name as the Harris, uh, the estate services here, Mr. Harris. Petition for probate of will, appointment of personal representative, termination of tre appointment of Teresa M. O. Wrightington, who has no knowledge of who we are. Okay, and we got to pay 20, almost $20,000, we did, of uh, his fees, his lawyer's fees. On um, file on April 11, 2017, file on John, July 24, 17, file hearing on November 3, 2017, November 3, 2017, order on July 19, 2018, a motion to enforce settlement term sheet executed May 23, 2018, following meditation, the motion was filed hearing in terms of settlement agreement and resolved the issue of the submission of the will to probate, among other things. October 30, 2018, the court orally granted the motion, see court minutes dated. October 30, 2018, at WWW Court, Hawaii Government. Further proceedings are contemplated herein, including a petition relating to the settlement agreement and a petition for adjustment of intensity of and determination of errors. The court has retained her case on all other matters, apart from the contested matter. 
An investigation of the identities of the sins errors at law have been concluded, and the errors of identities are believed to be known and listed below. Here's some terms I have got to the case at a law firm who filed notice of appearance and counsel demanded notice for hearing on August 6, 2018. Sherry Tuchel now deceased, and Lori Tuchel, her daughter, are represented by the McCorston Law Firm. Due to Ms. Tuchel's death, a personal representative of her estate needs to be appointed to represent her interest in additional errors to Max Ben and Penny Fist being deceased, namely Mitchell Arno and Michelle and Prady are unrepresentative herein. I have no lawyer. Petitioner has determined that the estate may be exposed to federal and white state taxes, penalties, and interest if the will is not admitted to probate. On the other hand, if the will whose residential beneficiary is a charitable trust and foundation is admitted to probate, the estate may be entitled to claim the unlimited charitable deduction from the estate tax. Petitioner believes that the best interest of the state is to pay the federal and white state taxes as soon as practical to stop the accrual of interest on the unimpaired <coughs> tax and uh, in a later seek a refund should the will be admitted to probate and the estate entitled to claim an unlimited charitable deduction. It is necessary to liquidate real property of the state in order to generate sufficient liquidity to pay tax and expensive administration. Although petitioner maintains a sizable operating account to pay expenses, it is insufficient to pay estate taxes, penalties, and interest. Petitioner maintains an operating account with cash and in, has been making payments towards the potential estate tax liabilities as real properties have been sold. It is also necessary and desirable to liquidate real property of the state in order to diversify the state's property. Portfolio, which is invested in Hawaii real estate, and aside from the operating account, nothing else. It is also necessary to liquidate the real property for purpose of preparing the estate for cash distribution to the many heirs, subject to the complete resolution of the contested matter. There's 11 heirs, and there's 31 beneficiaries now. Petitioner intends to prudently invest any sales. Uh, proceeds generated in excess of expected tax and expense liability, should that appear to be reasonable. Yeah, I guess, might well. Looks like it goes all the way in September. This is three years now since um, Phyllis died. Uh, my Lisa died because uh, she, uh, we didn't have no oxygen. We couldn't afford that. Couldn't get nobody to give us no oxygen. Articles 4053 of the will arguably authorized petition. Well, I said you got to have make sure when the court takes in a piece of paper, this right here, I can turn this in and say it's a will. Uh, you can't do that. You know, you got right off of Jump Street, you got a contested matter because the heirs say, I don't want to sell none of that. I didn't want to sell not one stinking property of this. Hell, it was paying for itself, rocking and rolling, kicking ass and taking names. That's what I'm told. Uh, two months later, after these guys got a hold of it, man, they can't pay the bill. It's going under. Uh, here's what they ran through here in an offer to buy this, um, this is an investment, um, group. They buy their, uh, yeah, I think it's, uh, um, I'm not sure if it's a non-proper, I know the granters are not, it's a K K K K. uh, it's that condominium over there, huh? it's praised at death, 106,000, or 104,000, excuse me, and 106,000 as of January 28, 2019. Although the proposed purchase price of $87,300 is less than the appraised value, Stephen E. Harris and other members of the estate administrator LLC have inspected the interior of the property. Appliances have been removed prior to petitioner access to the interior of the property. Due to this poor condition, the property is not financeable. Due to the property's poor condition, the petitioner believes that the sale price of $87,300 is fair and reasonable and reflective to the fair market value. It is represented by a qualified real estate agent in connection with the sale of the property. Certain expenses will be incurred, uh, including realtors' commission and conveyance taxes and attorney fees and other expenses incurred. Uh, petitioners request that all expenses of the sale, including but not limited to realtors' commission, conveyance tax, attorney's fees, and other expenses, be allowed to be paid from ESCO. That's why I was telling you about the 3%. Well, you get these non-profit organizations, they got a broker's firm, and the estate's paying the 3% out, and uh, paying out 6% to the uh, the one broker and that broker's uh, share. You know, they got, got a clause there where they share it. And then you got the buyer, <coughs> which you just got a couple, they're just people's names, I don't know, it doesn't say you non-profit. But you got to read between the lines. Remember I say I can see things that other people can't see? 
uh, you know, that, that's because I got all this um, paperwork. And, uh, you know, if you had it, you could look between the lines. You see so many of them, and then you say, whoa, wait a minute. The owner's not going to be staying at the residence. That's one, that's a big thing right there. When they say you're not, so that, that um, registrar wants to know who's going to be there. Who's going to be in here? Who, are they married or not married? I don't know, know why they go all out like that. But, uh, you know, these homeless, uh, homeless people got to have a place to live, man. Got to give them a place to live. And I guess it's my my problem, okay? Well, it's everybody's problem, actually, because we all win this together. And we, the people of the United States of America, in order to form a more perfect union, we got to do something, man. We got to do something about it. It's going to happen there. This ball and probate law. Uh, uniform probate code is going to be in everybody's, uh, everybody's going to have it. So, you know, everybody's going to, you're going to get the same uh, thing. You, you don't, it doesn't matter if you got a will or not. It don't matter if you got a dang uh, uh, will saying, hey, man, uh, um, no, I don't want to be an organ donor. You can have that paper saying from an attorney, I don't want to be an organ donor. It don't matter. That, hey, that hospital owns you, man. When you go in there, it's up to them whether they want you to die or not. If they need your organs, you're going to die. Because that's what it's gotten down to. Because that's what happened to Lisa. They just took her life. They took her war. And you ain't got to, hey, who's going to pay for all this? Well, hey, you know, just get goddamn uh, Congress. Did they'll make ten more billion dollars. That's all you got to do. Hey, make some treasury notes. Send it over to the Federal. I can do it for you. And then the Fed sends you back some reserve notes. You put it in there. The value of it comes from the existing money. How about that? How sweet is that? $5,000 down. 5000 additional deposit, January 26, 2019, is $77,300 balance on the, okay, a total cash funds $87,300 total purchase price, which they don't pay, they only pay $85,000, so they're going to get 3% too, right? Okay, this sale is in, upon seller receiving probate court approval for the sale, which he will, Okay, and uh, Marina Harbor, Hawaii vacation. It's a member of the brokerage. Of, uh, and it's a, uh, Century 21 Island Homes is the buyer's uh, uh, brokerage firm. There's two of them there. And, uh, and so they go on an uncashed check on um, wire transfer for $5,000. They said they're going to, you know, whatever they say in court doesn't mean a hill of beans, okay? Uh, five thousand initial earnest, uh, five thousand additional deposit penny, paid in escrow on before two business days after day one removal, seventy five thousand balance of down payment for balance of purchase price, and a total of all <coughs> from buyers eighty five thousand dollars. See, remember, they, they, just, they just skipped over a couple of uh, three hundred dollars right here. Uh, so they, they just keep on, you know, get a little cheaper, get a little cheaper, get a little cheaper. And, you know, you get it upon nothing. Okay? That's a good investment. Uh, they said they'll buy, they'll go up to 100000 if they, got any, they ain't gonna let them people bid them out like that. So, um, I, we need some more bidders and bid on that. Go up there and bid. Make them pay that 100000 Yeah, get on up there, you, you're trying to rip us off. You know, hundred. Hey, if you got it for a hundred thousand dollars, you're still way under the appraisal. When that appraiser lady, I don't, I don't know about that. I've seen too much of that one there. You can keep your appraisal to that Stephen Harris, your fucking uh, client, because I could give a shit. I wouldn't. Have, I wouldn't hire you. You're fired. All these people are fired. You're all fired. I shut down the white. I close it down. If I, I got control, it's my estate, I could shut it down, I rock, it would hurt, I could mess up Hawaii's economy. Yes, you, and you don't believe that, do you? But I could, I, I mean, if, they get, if it's in my power, they ain't gonna let you do it, though. They ain't gonna let me do it, because they got this, they take it away from you. In the event of a multiple company, I imagine you'd have to have them all the board of directors with you to do that, which you're not gonna get, but... I mean, if y'all, if we wanted, you know, if they wanted to, they could do it, because they got it in there, you got it, they own everything. Those board of directors got it all, and, and you, you buy, sell, rent, it says it on there, you buy, sell, rent, lease, or anything on there, in Hawaii, you're going to pay somebody. Uh, buyers, uh, buyers are real estate, this is that disclosure, it's Hawaii law, they got to do that, and they're obeying the law. 
Disclosure of the licensees and the transaction disclose the following buyers are real estate agents purchasing as an investment property. Their names and their license numbers. That's all good and dandy. Uh, you know, but they, you know, they're going to get serious per MLS. You know, that's what the uh, Marina Hawaii Vacation got you know, in brokerage firms. And it says down here, it says that brokerage firms sharing the commission with other brokerage firms, which may have provided service in the first thing. You know they have, and you know they will. Uh, they'll get paid and say a little bit more, go cheaper a little bit more, go cheaper a little bit more. Okay. Okay, well, that's what that is. And this is all your uh, ladder rooms. I can't really say that, but that's what that is. This is hell in your street. You know, we had a bunch of these. You know, already these um, A bunch of these um, apartments already. This is, this is the thing for setting a date and time, June 10th, 2019. It's uh, that Thursday, September the 5th. This goes to September 3rd, 5th, 2019. Uh, it's a hearing on position of authority to sell. Notice of hearing and position for authority to sell. Uh, $87,300. Right there, where you see that, right there. And 97000 uh, or 92000 You can go up there and bid 92 They said they'd go up to $100,000. Uh, the buyer will keep anybody from bidding them out. But, you know, that's like 20 more thousand more dollars. I mean, you can't, you can't, I mean, I, I can't say really much, you know, anything about that because that's what, that's what, that's the American way, you know, uh, you, you want to get it for the cheaper, you want, you can, you know, and make money. But when you got everybody else around the, around the places, uh, $850,000 for their, this is uh, another one. Here's it. A hundred and something thousand dollars, and yours is only eighty-seven. Okay, and uh, there it is. <laughs> I got a stamp. Okay, um, uh, let's see here. Petition. This one's uh, see Marshall in court hearing is enclosed in petition. Okay, so no one here. Right there. Okay. Got this one here. All right. Hey, you want to see what it's like to be <coughs> a millionaire on paper? I'll show you. Cause that's all it is. <laughs> there ain't no millions of dollars. And then anyway, what I do got, I got to share with the 42. There's 42 of us now. June, uh, what is it, 24th? 2019. Uh, and this is goes. Uh, here's another one. I, I don't know who that is. Once again, I really don't know who that is. Just buying it. Okay. And this is the order. It's three hundred and forty-six thousand dollars. Three hundred forty-six thousand five hundred dollars. This must be a million, couple million, ten million dollar home right here. <laughs> Three hundred and sixty-four thousand three hundred and twenty-five dollars. Now it's done trains. Oh, it's done going up. Oh, that's what you got to bid. Okay, that's required minimum bid. Okay. Ah, uh, this is um, this is Kalupa Loop. Okay, and. It goes on. It says the same thing as the other one did. Okay. And this one here goes. In, you can go to Hooky High Court Subway. Government. I'm just skipping over this. If you want the full thing, go there. Um, it's okay. This one here goes on. Settlement term sheet dated. And it goes into detail about that. The you know the balance. Contested matter and file notice of counsel and demand for notice and the state of Sherry Sukal and his thief and Lori Guy, my cousin, she's uh, represented by the McCorson Law Firm. We don't have nothing. 
Well, not meant for probate. On the other hand, if it is, they get a thing charitable tax machine. Okay. Uh, he, I'm probably gonna get another. I got it made. They got it sealed. You know, your goddamn family goes. They had this shit. My family had this goddamn crap, and I ain't got it. Didn't even know anything about it. Here, you know, I mean, we know we got a little money, but not nothing like this. It's ridiculous, man. And not to tell, to tell somebody it might at least have died because she didn't have no oxygen. In it. I mean, it's not there. It's not anybody's. It's been anybody's to do. But I mean, gosh, you know, if you got a family, you know, you can get any goddamn, you know, look, look out for you. Family, your blood. That's one thing. If you learn anything out of this, you need to. Uh, they don't do like my family does. And now they got dang in, hey, you're still in the blood, you know it's blood because I got dang, because I ain't blood, you know, you can see that. But yeah, if I was blood, I'd be, you know, hey, I am the maternal, uh, paternal male. I'm the paternal my head male, man, I'm the oldest male on the paternal side. By their law, I'm supposed to be the, uh, this my estate, man, they're just, just walking all over me, man, fucking... I don't know, man. It's just it's ridiculous. I mean, I can't cry about it anymore. I've been cried enough. I I guarantee you I cried my ass off for Lisa. And at the time of the death, the Senate held a fee of simple interest, certain real property. Okay, and it was some. Uh, you know, seventeen thousand three hundred twenty-five thousand. Uh, and the balance by way that's down, okay, and no more than 2% of said loan, a term of no less than 30 years, and origination fees of no more than 2% of said loan, time is of the assets, uh, copies of account of all and okay, all right, Let's see what the appraisal, property was appraised for $290,000 at the same date of death, and for 365000 on October 24th. That's a big uh, difference in it. The true and correct copies of this is under seal. Okay, and they want the attorney fees and all that. Okay, and then this is a relationship buyer. And then Jessica nominated herself. And then uh, this is my cousins. And uh, and then there I am. And we're just in something father Nathan Finn and my sister and then the, there, there's the other there's the Dorothy Finn side patern, the maternal side and you got Trish Samuel Wrightington is the former former administrator official administrator the jurisdiction is venues and proper and they want to sell it for $346,500 okay and it goes on Okay, you put it in the newspaper, you want to fork it down. You ain't got to put it in the newspaper, who else can? You know how many people care? We all know about it. You found us. Okay, just, I just waste some more money. Trustee under the will and of the estate of Bernice Polly Bishop, deceased. I don't know, that's the grounder. Philip Leo being unmarried as tenant in severity. Uh, June 22nd, 1994. Mm. Usually when it's underneath that 2000, it's all right. Usually I've, I haven't, it's not, it's better, I think, more accurate in, anyway, uh, I believe. When it gets in there, when they're a little newer than 2000, it gets a little ridiculous. Uh, you can see, well, $5,000 down and 3000 additional deposit no thing, 9,325 uh, balance more, 17,325 total cash funds from buyer, exclusive closing costs, and then $329,175 by way of conventional loan with interest not to exceed 2% or, what is that, 5.5% or 6% per year, a term of no less than 30 years and Origination fees and no more than 24 uh, of said loan. $346,500 is the total purchase price. And they asked for that. That's what they wanted. Okay, well, this one matches. It does match. Okay. Usually they beat you here, too, but. Uh, personal representative at the room. Okay. Uh, delete, delete, delete. Okay, all right, feller. The buyer ain't gonna fail to be there. He's gonna get it from 
probably, it's probably ten million dollars. <laughs> you know, anything they say, I can't believe nothing they say anymore. Uncashed check, you're not supposed to take checks, isn't that something? That's what, hey, they all do. They said, uncashed, oh, I cannot accept cash, or not accept checks. I mean, unca every one of them has. This is uh, that certain fee simple two bedroom, one and a half bath. Uh, condominium apartment number 232 in the Bougainville, uh, together with one assigned parking stall. And, um, for person of interest in the common and limited common elements of the project. Well, see, this is, a, uh, this is another one of the condominium deals. And, uh, they're all, that's what they're all about. And I don't know what the $87,000 ones. Okay, and this was a, okay, here it is, Besting in Tennessee. Um, this is husband and wife is going to be living in it. Okay, shall be determined in ecstasy. Oh, yeah, see, that says determined in ecstasy. Uh, uh, in escrow, I mean. Uh, 15 days, they got 15 days to put somebody in there. Okay, and this one here, no contingency on obtaining cash funds. Um, yeah, they got to have two business days, okay, three days after acceptance. Um, buyer does not obtain a conditional loan commitment. Okay, everything seems like it, so... Yeah, that's what usually happens. That's what they're going to do. They're going to get this for nothing and sell it for profit. They'll put somebody in there. Whoever's, uh, whoever buys it will put their name in there. It's, you know, I'm not going to say it's a non-profit. It don't have to be a non-profit. Um, they're just giving it away. Buyer, I'll sell my for the inspection, okay? All right, then. Alright, anyway, okay, okay. This is a big one here. I don't know why they got a big price on it. Uh, in event, the multiple competing offers. Okay, if this is happening, it's, they, that really messed them up when they got a bid on there. That messed them people up. See, this is, a, this is probably a number, because every one of them now got this in here. In event, that the multiple co uh, co operating offers are received by a seller. For the property, a uh, buyer agrees to increase the purchase price $1,500, $1,500 more than the highest competing bona fide offer. The maximum price that the buyer will pay is $351,500. To trigger this, as placed in a copy of pages 1, 2, and 12, and 13 of the high highest competing offer must be attached with the accepted purchase contract. Okay, see, that, that it really helped, man, when that guy went in there, he snuck in there and dad, took that guy's in property away from him, uh, uh, in there, uh, took it away from him non-profit, and they didn't like that, boy. Now they're going to say, hey, man, you know, you do that again, we got it, we got you, we're going to, we're going to cover ourselves. Counter offer. Seller agrees to sell the property as the price in terms offered in the purchase contract. Uh, we are Hawaii vacations. There's no, it doesn't say what they're going to get. They don't say 3%. They don't say whatever the listing. They just say brokers firm. They just put their name down. Whatever, whatever we agreed on, I guess. You don't know, hey, I don't know what they're, you know, I guess I'll add it in later. Okay. <laughs> All right, buyer elects to obtain a professional home inspection. That buyer expands. Buyer declines to obtain a home warranty. Okay. Well, there you go. Purchase contract. Okay. Buyer obtain a professional home inspector. Purchase contract. Okay. Mold and all that and a statement saying we learned a lot, didn't we, huh? You and me, me and you, we learned a lot out of this, didn't we? A lot of good it does us. Okay, here's the three percent of sale price. Okay.
Okay. So uh, this is just the um that's telling when the it's work of car. See that's a S Adam right there, see it? That's Adam, that's the one we got on that you look on that other one. This is the clerk of the court. Um and serving upon all the other people. Uh notice of hearing the petition authority to sell. Uh, don't forget about Lisa's Grandbaby Law. That's what it's all about. It's the reason I'm telling you about this. Uh, Lisa's Grandbaby Law, it just says brain dead ain't dead. Uh, let's don't let them get you over here. When you go in there, they own you, okay? If you're, if you're in there and you keep passing out and you wake up, keep passing out, and you just had a little, or you bumped your head or something, and you went in there because you, you don't well, you just ain't feeling too good, you know, and, and pa you keep passing out. And then, you, oh, my God, you hear your kids are crying, you know, they're screaming hysterical, you know. He said, why, why are y'all crying? Why are y'all screaming like that, man? But you can't open your eyes because you can't see, you know, you can't, because they don't touch your goddamn eyes, okay? And you're laying there in your own blood, and they're dissecting you uh, a little bit at a time. Said, oh, no, you can't do this. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, but they are. They own you. It's not you anymore. It's them. It's theirs. And they use that brain dead that says that uh, they own you. And they take your body parts and they sell them on the legal market. Pay attention to what my video. Go back there and look at all my videos. Look at them videos and you'll see what I'm talking about. This is a dang, this is a crime. And uh, Georgia is, uh, is one, of the, one of the, I want the uh, Supreme judges uh, i want to seek indictments on this life link and uh in the northeast georgia medical centers uh the one that pulled the oxygen off of her i want them to go down for murder and the rest of them are felony murders uh anyone that touched her uh you know the curse is going to get you but uh, if you think this is right what you're doing you better think it the rest of your life okay because the first time your conscience gets the best of you that's when the curse is going to get you Okay, I just want to, you know, if it's just fair, it's fair, okay? Uh, unless you're dead, y'all should be dead. You, you took her life, you stopped this beautiful girl from living and enjoying her uh, her natural uh, rights. She had those rights. She had the right to life. You have no right to do that. Even if you're a willing donor, a person willing, it's wrong. A person that's willing, you better look at this crap, man. This is wrong. Take a look at them uh, pictures. Uh, Lisa wanted you to see them. Because she said, I told her this is going to be, uh, we was in that dream uh, state, that robotic state we were in. And, you know, I said, man, this is, it's going to be ugly. And then she didn't, because she wanted, you got to stop them guys. Please promise me, Gator, you stop them from doing this to somebody. You can't, they can't do this, Gator. This is terrible. This is awful. You got to stop them, Gator. Please. You got to stop them from doing this. I said, I will try, baby. I surely will. I promised her I would do it. I will do this for the rest of my life. and Or until we get Lisa's grandbaby law. Okay. All right. Y'all come back and see me. Bye-bye uh, now.